Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to clear up a few questions about the uh, Stanley Fat Max battery jumper. Now, this jump box, I've seen a lot of comments about how you charge the battery. So this jump box comes with a plug right here. And everybody says, well, they didn't give you a cable. And I've seen people say they had to make special, special cables to plug in. And they say that you can't use a normal uh, extension cord. Now you see this is just a normal extension cord with a normal three pronged plug on it. It just plugs in right there and you can charge, charge your Fat Max. You don't need anything special other than an extension cord, which most people have laying around for one reason or another. You always need a good extension cord once in a while. Now this air compressor, I, I didn't mention anything about it when I did it before, when I uh, did my review on it a year ago. I've had this for a year. But what I really like about it is you set your pressure and when you turn it on, you don't need a tire pressure gauge to follow up with it because it will shut off right at the right pressure, which is really nice. Set your tire to 31, put it on there, boom, fires right up and runs till it hits that, the max setting, the, the setting, then it slows down a little bit and then it stops right where it's supposed to. Now I haven't used the USB power, I haven't had the need for that. Now, this jump box, the battery is showing uh, Battery is showing 2.2. So this battery seems to stop, have stopped taking a charge. Now I just looked online, you can buy a, a battery for this. They're about $45. So by the time you're talking to battery, you almost got the whole unit. Um, I believe it was like $59.95. So 10 bucks more and you get a brand new unit. Now, it, this has been working for tires, for pressure and jump box and everything. I just haven't been able to get it over the 12.3 voltage. Should be a nominal voltage for a 12 volt is 12.6. And I believe when this was new, it used to go up to like 13, 13 volts. Now, I haven't had time to look in to see whether it's a charging system on here or whatever. I will be putting a link right up above to a youtuber that took this apart and you can see what's inside it it's really a good uh, video on all the components that are inside and how it's built then you will be surprised at the battery that you see that's inside there it's quite a quite a big battery it's like a wheelchair little i mean not a wheelchair but like a small wheelchair battery that's why this is so heavy it's a pretty heavy box thousand peak battery amps 500 instant starting power, 120 PSI air compressor, and an alternate, <coughs> excuse me, 1,000 peak battery amps, 500 instant starting power, 120 PSI compressor, and it will check your alternator. See, check it for charging. All in all, it's been a great box for me. The form factor is a little bit awkward when you go to set it on some surfaces because the cables are short, but that's, that's the uh, result of having a nice compact setup. And don't forget, when you go to charge this, you don't need anything special other than a normal extension cord. No matter what anybody tells you, it'll plug right in there, plug it in the wall, and you can charge it up. So I just wanted to touch on that, guys, a quick short review on that because there has been some questions. The air compressor works fine. I've been keeping all my tires up through this cold winter weather. You know, your air pressure in your tires drop as the temperature gets cooler. So you do need to check them. Just dial in your pressure, turn it on, and it'll turn itself off when it hits the right mark. So please hit like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.